Okay, hello everybody. This is Mike Oversee here again. So uh, this is uh, my continued series of videos on how to program the Microbit by BBC and the DF robot, the Queen Plus. So this is a really cool robot. I think it's awesome for Steam, STEM, Stream, whatever you want to call it, education. Uh, so today, uh, so the first video I did, like a little hello world program. Today I'm going to start showing off some of the features of this really cool little robot, Queen Plus. And so if you can see here in the front, there's a little LED here and here. And a little harder to see is a little microphone, not microphone, speaker. Small little speaker and LED. Uh, LED. So we're going to show how to program and use those today. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, I'm going to share my screen real fast. And again, <clears throat> we're going to use uh, MakeCode for Microbit. So when you uh, log on to the MakeCode website, uh, it's by Microsoft, then um, make sure you select the Microbit version um, for it. Now, of course, when you first come in, you're going to have these, you know, my projects in my menu. So I've already created a music LEDs project. And then bring up the project. Now remember, uh, oh, I've already added to the Queen Plus. Sorry, I kind of started ahead of time. So, but just remember if you need the if you're using the McQueen Plus, you need to have the extensions or the includes for that. So on the top right-hand corner, I uh, click on the little icon next to Microsoft. I uh, click on, on the drop-down, click on extensions, and then type in McQueen. And it'll bring up two of them. Make sure you pick the right one for your robot. Uh, if you have the McQueen and McQueen Plus, you can only click on one and don't keep clicking on it because you start getting errors. So just click on the McQueen Plus and get these extensions for you. And then what will happen is you'll see them right here in the menu, McQueen Plus. Okay, so now we're going to kind of jump in and show you how block code, blocks code, you can program the uh, RGBs, LEDs for the McQueen Plus and the uh, speaker. So click on McQueen Plus, scroll down until you get to the set RGB left and right in color. Now you're going to need four of these. It may be an easier way to do this, but I don't know if there is one. I'll show you here, just start understanding why you need four here. Because we're going to change colors so you can see the color difference. Okay, we got four of them. And so we got left, RGB left in color red, RGB, click on the drop down menu. We're gonna use the right one and then we're gonna make that blue. Then we're gonna repeat, if I change the colors, so left and right, uh, blue, then red, okay. Yeah, so what we're doing is we're swapping colors. We're changing colors on the uh, RGBs left and right. Now, the cool thing, if you look down at the robot, you'll actually see RGB left and RGB right on the, on the board. So it helps you know which one you're dealing with. Okay, so in the world of computing, everything happens so fast. Electronics, computing, everything happens so fast. Sometimes it's hard for the eye to see the changes because we're talking milliseconds. We're talking, you know, even if I snap my fingers, a change has been made. So what we need to do is to see the change, we need to use 
a command called pause. And we need to put it between the changes of the color. Now think, like I said, think about it. If things happen so fast you can't see them, then how are you going to know when the colors change? You're not. It's going to happen just too quick. So click that. I'm going to put one second between the changes. Now, now we're not quite done. Now think about it. You put a pause here between the color changes, but this is a loop. This is a forever loop. You do these commands, pause, do these commands, and then come back and do these commands, pause, and do again. You're still, you don't have a pause right here. And what's going to happen is the changes between here and here are going to be so fast. It's also going to be so hard to see what's going on. So we need another pause. <coughs> and we need to put it after the second block of command color changes. And we're also going to set that at uh, one second. So you, like I said, this forever is basically a loop. It starts at the top, works its way all the way down, and then comes back to the top, so on and so on and so on so forever. <clears throat> That's why you need a pause here and here, so that way you can see the color changes uh, when they happen. So just double check, left, right, red, blue, blue, red. So that should just toggle the uh, RGBs left and right, back and forth between red and blue. Pretty cool. Okay. So now we're going to use uh, to run the speaker. Go to music. And I'm going to put there at the top here. <clears throat> so. Yeah, you can hear it in the background. Da, 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 da. So we're going to do it forever. Let's try something different. So when the robot starts up, and it just this melody will just play over and over again as the LGB colors are changed left to right, left to right. So, like, like I said in the past, it's, I think it's really cool to click on after you start getting learning how to use blocks, then you can slowly start to learn how JavaScript and Python works. So let's click on JavaScript. So this is what the JavaScript code looks like. You've got the forever function, class, I'm calling that. Basic is the class, forever is a method or function. Uh, so you've got the music, basic method call, start melody, uh, then passing the parameters for the music. Basically, the, the music type is entertainer. Just, these are just functions, method, class calls. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Um, these are the parameters you're passing in. Uh, the melody is entertainer. And the option is forever. And then you've got uh, basically the, uh, the robot queen plus class. And you're setting the, the method, the RGB light. And these are the uh, parameters you're passing into the method, which is RGB left, the color, then doing it over, repeating the command over again, but this time going right, RGB, and then blue color. And then here's the pause. Just that's a basic class, and you call it the method pause within the class, and pass it in your, your time. It was 1000 milliseconds, which is up to be about a second. And then you repeat, calling the degree plus class, setting that method. Calling the method RGB light, then passing in the parameters left and right, color, and then doing the pause again. And like I said, this is just basically a loop, 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 loop. That's JavaScript. Uh, Python should look very similar. As you can see, once you learn one computer programming language, usually the syntax and everything are similar or close enough 
and there was object-oriented languages, class calls, dependent calls, method calls, all very similar in how it's done. <clears throat> There's just little syntax differences. And you can see this is just kind of similar. You got the for <coughs> forever loop. Uh, the music on the, uh, the the method or only and then passing in the parameters entertainer forever then you've got uh, the robot class once again and you pass it in the parameters for the method set RGB lights you both left and right and colored you can see you can kind of click on it and you see what you're doing the pause function you just repeat it over again basically calling the uh, set rgb light passing the parameters in left to right in color then the pause again and then just basically just kind of going back and repeating the forever function. Okay. So like I said, it's really cool. You see the different programming languages. What you get blocks. You understand blocks. And you can start seeing how the other ones, Python and JavaScript, work. Which is really cool because uh, a lot of companies uh, are using Python and JavaScript. So it's always good to kind of see these languages, kind of learn these languages. So that way, uh, you kind of have a jump on everybody else learning those languages. It's another really cool byproduct of learning how to program with uh, Microbit and the uh, robot and Queen. Okay, let's go back to blocks. And this is the block code, like I showed you. Make sure it's saved. So there's a little save icon down there. I'm not sure why I get in there. Here's a little save icon. It's, okay, now we're going as before. You need your micro, your micro USB cable, which is connected to my laptop. That will be connected to micro bit. I'm going to get my little get little warning messages. Now the reason why that's happening is because I already preloaded the program as a test. <clears throat> so go to a, the lower left hand corner where you got the download. There's just three little dots. Click on those. Make sure your micro bit is connected. It's paired. Mine's already paired. So now we click on the download button to download the program to Microbit. You can see the little flashing light there in the behind. That was really fast. Cool. Okay, so the LEDs are flashing, uh, but uh, now we need to power up the speaker. So let's unplug the Queen. And remember, here in the back, uh, behind, uh, behind the, uh, the right wheel, is the on and off switch. So, uh, let's stop sharing the screen here so I can show you what's going on. So there you go. There's your on and off switch right there. So just turn the robot on. I know it's kind of quiet, but you can hear the robot. Now the robot is playing through the little speaker right there. The robot is now playing the music, which is kind of cool. So you can have music going on as the robot's driving around. And then you can see the right and left RGB are changing colors back and forth. Pretty cool and very simple. That's what I love about uh, this setup. So we're learning programming, robotics, 
electronics. The cool, that's the cool thing about robotics. A lot of the stuff that you're learning now and through these tutorials and through just playing with the McQueen Plus and the MicroPit are really helpful when you get to high school and college and doing programming, robotics, electronics, and so on. STEM, STEAM, STEAM. So cool. So once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. So I'm going to post these on my social media accounts, YouTube, this tutorial on YouTube, Facebook, and so on. If you have any questions, uh, you can't get something to work, uh, you're trying to do something with uh, McQueen Plus or the uh, micro bit, and you have a question, just put a comment or send me an email or direct text so I can try to help you out. If you have any suggestions on how to make these videos better, I'm more than open to that. If I did something wrong or didn't explain something correctly, then please add it to the comments or whatever. Send me a comment so I can modify or change this tutorial. So, very cool. So, hopefully to see you again in my next tutorial in, a few, in the next few days uh, on the McQueen Plus and the Microfit. And once again, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again.